It has been a long week, so we thought we'd take you to the Bahamas, specifically Disney Private Island, where their new cruise ship is docked, and we know someone who is on it right now. Gabe Sagley of Travel Zoo joins us now from the Disney Wish currently docked at Castaway Key. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Hey, China, great to see you. By the way, Captain Minnie actually has raised anchor. We've, we've left the island, okay. so we're somewhere along the Caribbean Sea. We're moving slowly but surely, but yeah, it's a gorgeous day out here uh, in the beautiful Caribbean Sea. Yeah, you have a tough job, sir. <laughs> uh, well, you know, motion is pretty easy peasy so far, so so far so good. But yeah, listen, this is our chance to check out the latest entry into the uh, North American cruise scene and uh, oh. Disney's latest ship, the Disney Wish. So we, now we've got five uh, ships now. Uh, in the uh, Disney Cruise Line. So tell me about the ship that you're on right now. So listen, this is six years in the making. This ship was uh, manufactured in a shipyard in Germany. It took about six years. There are two more ships, by the way, that Disney is currently uh, producing, and they'll, they'll hit the water by 2025. So we're seeing now the uh, fleet here uh, grow in size. And it's a, it's a sign, I think, that not only travel, but certainly the cruise industry is starting to rebound pretty healthily, uh, healthily now uh, post-pandemic. We are seeing increased demand for cruising as we look out uh, beyond 2022 into 2023. Uh, and this, uh, listen, this ship delivers. It, it features experiences, especially for Disney fans, that no other Disney ship has ever offered before. And Castaway Key is Disney's private island. You said that. Does everyone on the yeah. ship get to go there? What, what is that like? So listen, this was such a great stop. This is what you wake up to Castaway Key on uh, day two of your cruise. Uh, and we've got a series of three night cruises scheduled over the next many months. And yeah, on night on mo morning number two, there you are at Castaway Key. This is Disney's private island. They've got a hundred year lease from the Bahamian government. It's a thousand acres, only 55 acres of which is actually developed. But you walk right off the ship and in about seven minutes, you're there on that main beach where you can get massages, order some cocktails, do some snorkeling. I did some great snorkeling there yesterday with my two boys. Uh, and, uh, and just sort of unwind and relax. It's, it's a great way to be able to say, hey, I was in the Bahamas uh, in that beautiful crystalline water. I uh, had a little bit of lunch, a little barbecue lunch there. About 140 people live on this island full time uh, and make sure that when the na that next sailing comes into port, everything is, uh, is ready to roll. But it's, as you can imagine, it's so laid back. It's so beautiful. Uh, and it's just it's a great sort of respite from what is otherwise a really fantastic experience on board this brand new ship. And Gabe, can you talk about the COVID precautions that are happening right now on the boat and getting there and on the island? Yeah, listen, well, the CDC still requires for those cruise lines, and Disney's one of them, they require you to test negative to be, to be able to board. The CDC requires you to get that negative um, a PCR test at, uh, no more than two days before the cruise. So we set sail uh, after the ship was christened on Wednesday in Port Canaveral. So my family and I took our tests on Monday, had our results Tuesday, and then we were cleared to sail uh, on Wednesday. So that's so something that the cruise industry, just as the airline industry tried to do and, and did successfully, trying to get the CDC to get rid of. But for now, that is currently currently in place. And then it's just a couple of forms. Uh, you got to have your passport because this is a ship that's registered in the Bahamas. You are obviously dropping anchor there in Castaway Key in the Bahamas. So you want to make sure your passport is with you and current. Uh, but otherwise, it's easy sailing from then on. All right. Well, Gabe Sagley with Travel Zoo, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it and have a blast. Uh, thanks, China. See you soon. Bye.